How to Run TestNG Tests on Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.440.2. There's also a sample repository for this video. The link to that repository is down in the description. So let's go and take a look at the sample repository. What we have here is a basic Maven project. If we take a look at our POM XML, what we're going to see is that we have a dependency on TestNG. Now, again, this is a very trivial example, but once you see how it works, then you should be able to build out more TestNG tests and test suites within your application. So let's go ahead and go over into source, and we can take a look at the basic test case. Again, we are importing in from TestNG, and we have a handful of basic test cases. Now, finally, let's go take a look at our Jenkins file. Within our Jenkins file, what we're doing is we're going to be running this job on an agent with a label of Linux. You might be using a different agent. That's up to you. And then in our stage, we're going to be running the test dot slash Maven W clean test. So all we're doing is just running the test portion of Maven. And then finally, what we're going to be using is we're going to be using JUnit to capture the output from the test in G run. So let's go ahead and go over into our controller. I have the job set up test in G. If we're going to take a look at the configuration, we are pointing at that repository. And then we're also loading in our script path of Jenkins file. So again, we have a Jenkins file in our repository. It's a basic Maven project that is using TestNG for its tests. So let's go ahead and run this job. So we'll click on TestNG and click on Build Now. If we take a look at the output of the job, what we're going to see is that we're running our Maven W clean test. And then as the job completes, what we're going to see is the JUnit step is going to run and it's going to capture the output from the job and drop it back into this run of the job. So we can see that our recording results were successful, but you'll notice here that we have some errors. Well, we actually have one test that failed. We have the test, basic test case is true, expected true, but was false. And that's okay. That's what we expect for this run of the test. So let's go ahead and go back up into test in G. We'll click back into one. So let's click back into the number one. What we'll see here is we had one test failure. If we click into that, we'll see that the, we had the failure is, is true. Again, that's what we expected from the output. But then if we go ahead and go back up to test results for number one, we'll see our failed test is, is true. But if we go into all test, basic test case, we'll see that we actually had three that passed. Addition, is false, and subtraction. So if you're used to using JUnit for your tests, you also have the option for using test in G if you're wanting to switch away from using JUnit. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.